Radio. Here we go. We're pushing boldly forward. Um, so this mini lecture is going to be looking at um, common sentence errors and how to fix them. So you can see I've got five sentences here and within each of these sentences there's some type of error that needs to be fixed. So let's take a look at some of the most common sentence errors and how to fix them. Sentence one, the teacher created mini lecture videos, comma, the students watched them carefully. All right. Any suggestions? What do we have here? What is the error? If you said comma splice, you are correct. So in, in my notes, if I was indicating an error here, I would be like, boom, good old comma splice. Now, comma splices are one of the most common writing errors. And as we know, all it means is that you cannot join two complete clauses together with just a comma. You need some other type of linking element there to help you. So if we were to rewrite this, we could use one of our strategies. So we could put a period and start a new sentence, or we could use fanboys, or finally, a semicolon would do the job. I like the fanboys option for this one. So that is a comma splice error and remember I just very quickly went over the three different methods we can use that are the most common methods to fix it. Okay, sentence number two, the researchers talks to his friends at Superstore. Okay, there are two errors here. The first one is a subject verb error. So this is what I might write in the comment bar at the side. And the second one here is a capitalization error. And as you get more more uh, used to the error codes, I will just um, write them down in brief like this. Uh, it speeds up the marking process for me. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, we know this should be a singular, right? Because it says his right here. So this S needs to be removed. Um, and then we fix the problem. So if, if there was more than one researcher we would say researcher ta researchers talk. That's the proper uh, verb form to match up with a plural subject. But because we've got this possessive pronoun here, we know that we can keep the verb in the third person singular form. And remember all common verbs in English in the third person singular, that means when the subject is he, she, or it, they need an S on the end of them. And this is actually quite a common error. That's one of the reasons that I like to cover it off. And the second uh, error is that Superstore is a company or organization, so we capitalize that, okay? So now we fix that. Okay, now looking at number three, hiking, biking, and running are my favorite activity. There's actually three different errors here. Can anybody pick them out? Okay, first of all, you might have indicated that biking and running don't need to be capitalized, and you're absolutely right. So they're not proper nouns. We wouldn't capitalize them. The only reason we capitalize hiking is because it's the first word in the sentence. So that's error number one. Um, the next one is, you know I like to have a comma between all the items in my list. So I call that the Oxford comma. So if we were to be indicating these, I would, I would use my teacher's codes here. Right, minus 025, and this one is D. Cap. Okay, good. And then this one here, we go like this. And then we go here, we go minus 025, and we go aux C, which stands for Oxford comma. You need an Oxford comma here to separate each list item. Good. Okay. And then finally, We've got three things here, hiking, biking, running, but then I've used a singular noun to describe them. So obviously that's also a, a problem. So we would say PL dot N. So you need to pluralize this noun to make it fit in 
this context. Okay, so my notes would look something like this, um, and you guys are, I'm sure, getting used to that. So how would we fix it? Perfect, all good now. Sentence number four, we are doing our best, comma, because this learning style is new to us. Okay, so the error here is right here. And what this is, is we do not need a comma when we have a subordinating conjunction in the middle of a complex sentence. This is probably the most common error. Um, so wait, I call this a complex B errors because um, with this structure, just comment that. With this structure, the the word because is actually the linking tool that we've used to join these two clauses together. So we don't need a comma because the comma and the word because are basically doing the same job, right? They're the same tool. So if you're if you're working in in your garage and you're 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 you no know, screwing in the doors of a cabinet and you're you've already got a screwdriver in the screw sc turning it in you don't try to shove a second screwdriver in there that would really mess things up right so use one tool for the job don't need two Perfect, that's corrected. And the last one, okay? So this is the exact opposite, where we've started our sentence with a subordinate conjunction. So this um, is a complex A sentence, but you'll notice we haven't indicated where the um, transition to the second clause is. So we, we actually do need a comma here. So remember that whenever you have your subordinate conjunction, conjunction at the beginning of the sentence, you will need the comma to separate the clauses or to link the clauses. Um, if it's in the middle, you don't need it. If it's at the beginning, you do. Okay, so this would be a, call this a complex A error. So I'm just trying to kind of get you guys accustomed to what these error codes look like. Good. And we've got some other things to look at here. Although she purchased the bike, she never use it. So um, this might be, again, it could be called a subject verb agreement error. It could also be called a verb tense error because maybe you want to talk about something that happened in the past, but you forgot to put um, these verbs into the past. Um, and yeah, that makes sense, right? Because we're, we're talking about something that already happened. So we'll, we'll um, this would be... Perfect. So we will fix this final one. Here's that comma we needed. Good. And it makes sense to have this one go into the present tense because the thing that she did in the past was purchase the bike and the fact that she's not using it is something that's like habitual. So. Uh, simple present tense talks about now, but it also talks about kind of habit. Those are the two cases where we use it. And how do you know where to put the comma? Well, you're going to look for that second subject, right? And that comma should come before the second subject. Okay, so we've covered off comma, comma splices, subject verb agreement, capitalization, decapitalization, plural noun errors, complex B error, complex A error, and the last one was verb tense. Okay, excellent. Wonderful.